Hey guys, it's Nana, and today I'm going to be talking about what I read in September. So you may have noticed that I didn't have a what I read in August video because I realized that I only finished one book, which was Outlander. I'm not going to talk about Out Outlander anymore because I've talked about it to death, so if you want to hear more about my thoughts on that, I'll link my video below. But I was also reading the fifth Harry Potter book last month, but I didn't finish it until this month. So. It'll be in this month's what I read. So the first book that I finished in September was The Silkworm by Robert Galbraith, aka JK Rowling. And this is the sequel to The Cuckoo's Calling. Um, and it's the second book in the Corman Strike series. So Corman Strike is a detective and the main character in the first and second novel. And in this book, he's got a new mystery to solve which involves a writer who disappears and leaves behind a controversial manuscript. Cormoran is hired to find him and then later to figure out who killed him. I liked this one a lot. I enjoyed getting to know more about the characters, particularly Robin. I wanted more of Robin in the first book, and I do feel like there's more of her in this one. And I also felt a particular connection to the mystery because it involves the publishing industry and that's the industry I work in, so I definitely could relate to some of the aspects that she describes about the publishing industry. I thought this was a good mystery and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. The second book that I finished was Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, and it took me a while to get into this one, which I haven't had that problem with any of the other Harry Potter ones, but I just felt that this one started off a bit slow. And also Harry is, was being so whiny throughout this one. Once I got over, I guess, Harry's character flaws in this book, I really enjoyed it. And it also got, gets, in my opinion, a lot better in the, towards the middle and then the second half when things really pick up. So I just am still loving reading this series and I can't wait to see where it goes next. I My roommate really likes the sixth one, so I'm looking forward to that one. And I gave this book, the fifth one, a 4 out of 5 stars. The next book I read was Go Ask Alice, and I did a whole video on this for Banned Books Week, so I'll link that below. This book follows a teenage girl who's keeping a diary, and um, a little after she turns 15, she is out with her friends one night and tries drugs for the first time, and then basically becomes a drug addict, and her life goes into one huge downward spiral. This book was really strange and bizarre, and I didn't really know how to feel about it for a long time, but I gave that one a 2 out of 5 stars. After that, I read A Paris Apartment by Michelle Gable, and the story is about a woman named April who is a auctioneer at Sotheby's. In Paris, they discover an apartment that's full of old antique furniture and different vintage treasures, and the heir of the estate hires Sotheby's to come evaluate the collection. April goes to Paris to evaluate these items and she discovers the these old journals and letters written by the owner of these items. It is a bit of a split story between April in the present day and the other character Marth in um, the golden age in Paris. I found Marth's story really compelling and interesting, whereas the character of April I didn't like as much. Um, Every time it would cut to Mars journal, I was like, let's please stay in this world and not go back to April. But overall, I did like this book, and it is set in Paris, so that certainly helps. So I gave this a 3 out of 5 stars. The final book that I finished in September was And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. And this uh, follows the story of 10 people who go on holiday to an island um, in the UK, and they all think they're there to hang out with some friends and just have a vacation, and they start dying one by one. So this was on my list of top 10 classics that I want to read or reread, so I can check one off the list now, and I thought this was great again. I really was expecting to remember it. I thought as I was reading it, maybe about halfway through, I'd be like, oh yes, that's who did it and I would remember, but I didn't. It felt like a completely new experience to me, so that was really fun trying to figure it out. And I had a guess that was sort of right, but I dismissed it, and then at the end, I was like, oh, I was, I did kind of have an inkling, but I didn't guess how 
for a while. But I really enjoyed this and I'm definitely going to be reading more Agatha Christie because I also picked up Murder on the Orient Express, which I believe I've read before, but if it's anything like And Then There Were None, I probably won't remember it. That was everything that I read in September. I haven't, I'm not reading anything at the moment. Um, my sister is visiting me, so we've been going out and about in New York City and I haven't really been sitting down and reading, but I'm excited for October because I want to maybe read some Halloween themed books or anything maybe that's just sort of creepy and spooky and will fit into the theme of October really well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to talk to me elsewhere, I'm on Twitter and Goodreads and Instagram and various other places, so I'll leave all of my links below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!